All right, so we're going to do a little test here today. Uh, I've got my Harrier. I'm in uh, active pause here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a JDAM loft against four targets. Now these are search radars. Um, this is an incomplete SAM site. Um, but I don't have any missile launchers. These are just search radars, but you see we got one, two, three, four. Uh, probably should have spread them out a little bit further. Um, that's okay. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to create some target points. So I'm going to put T00 is always a kind of a dummy target point, just the way the Harrier works. I should have mentioned that we're going to do this with the Harrier. Uh, I'm going to put T01 there. I'm going to put T0. So I'm putting these, whoops, I'm putting these. Oh, whoops. Sorry. I'm putting these target points directly over the targets. It'll become important in a minute here. And G03. Okay. And T04. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go back into my plane. Okay, we're going to go to the cast page. We're going to hit recall, and now we need to do. And there they are. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to assign uh, uh, target numbers to them because I didn't do this on the ground. If I if I were sitting on the ground, this would have been been done for me automatically. So I've got the first one selected here. So what I do is hit cast. Again, and we hit use. And we're enter one for T1. And if we go back to uh, recall here, you'll see we got T1 there. We'll go to the next entry, cast, use, and we're gonna do T2. And we'll go ahead and go to the next entry, and we're gonna do use T3, enter. And we're gonna go to the next entry, and we're gonna use. Four, enter, and then we go back to the cast page or the recall page. Oh, we missed one. We got to go back up here. What happened with that one? Uh, cast, use two. I probably didn't hit enter. There we go. T two. Okay, go back to the recall. There we go. So we got one, two, three, four, all set up. Okay, turn off the data mode here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and slew the teapot. I don't really need the teapot. I'm just kind of using that for a visual. So the teapot's operating. Let's put it in teapot mode here, or center sensor of interest. Okay, soy, and we need to designate from the map, and that will get me right on it. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in my teapot a little bit. And I can kind of, here, let me put it in FLIR mode. There we go. And you can see the first one there. You can see several of them. There we go. See all four of them right there. Okay. I'm not using the teapot here. We're doing a JDAM drop, so those are you know GPS guided uh, munitions here. Uh, we got uh, GBU 38s. Master arm on air ground mode. Let's go on the stores page real quick. Select our 82s. Uh, we're going to do um, tail fuse. Um, I'm just going to do one bomb for each. And everything else looks okay. I'm going to put tone on because I want to hear tone when they're released. Okay. Now we need to, uh, we got our end there. We need to hit targets. We need to enable targets one, two, three, four. You can see we got N1423. That's fine. That just means that we're going to uh, drop a bomb on each of those. Now, when I say drop, we're going to fling these upwards. We're going to loft them up in the air. You'll see what I mean in a moment. All right, so I think everything else is set. So now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going <laughs> to dive down, and I'm going to be up there. Here we go. We're coming down low. Now, I would, would not normally drop a JDAM like this. 
This is just something, this is a technique I just recently learned about. Just my throttle there. So we want to be right on the deck, but obviously we don't want to crash into anything. And we need to start flying towards the uh, release point. When the percentage accuracy counter starts counting upwards, we're going to start pulling up, and we're actually going to release our bombs in an upward trajectory. And these things are going to have like a parabola or a ballistic trajectory, but the guidance fins is going to guide these things onto the targets. The bombs will hit, I think, more from the side than from the from above. The, the bombs might be a little bit less effective against hard targets, but it will still work. And the main idea is, okay, here's our countdown. We're coming in range. We're not there yet. We've got to wait for the numbers to start counting up. Which they should very shortly will set a tree there. Should start counting up right about now. There it goes. So it's counting up. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Ooh, it just flew through some power lines. Pull it up and release. I'm holding down the pickle button. There's the bomb. Boom, look, all four got hit. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Or actually three got hit. One of them didn't blow up. Oh, you know what? I didn't hold on the pickle long enough. I got one still, one target still remaining. I didn't hold on the pickle button. So that's the one interesting thing. If you're doing multiples, you kind of have to hold on to that pickle for a long time. And that, that obviously, uh, the issue there uh, is if there is a SAM launcher and you're, you're pulling that high up, there's a chance you could be taken out. So I would go for maybe the radar first. Uh, unless it's like an integrated SAM unit with its own radar, then I would take that out. If you're multiples, I don't know, maybe you're in trouble. Let's see. Oops, pulling the wrong way here. I'll try this again. I'm kind of close, so I don't know if this is going to be as effective. Ah, uh, I'm not. This isn't going to be effective. I'm, where, there's my target. Here we go. Diving back down. Be careful, I got some tanks down here that will, will shoot at me. There it goes, boom. Got him. I like this. I like this loft technique. I, I don't know if Harrier pilots ever did this in real life. I don't know if this is like a thing, but I'm gonna do some research and find out. That is pretty darn cool. I I really like the loft technique. That's that is totally wild. It brings a whole new uh, level to seed operations. All right. That's it.